<laughs> did I read? Did I write this? No, but God didn't write that either. Man wrote it. Wait, 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 wait
and you do, and everybody else is afraid of you and your God. That's why when we go to jail, we go under the jail. They go there and come out next day. They put us in there for the smallest thing. We under that mall. Because if they let us free and we standing up like we doing, it's a problem. Right. Black men and black women that do what God say, they are afraid of us. Right. Why would anybody be afraid of a woman that will not recreate herself? Why would anybody be afraid of a man that's a strong man and he don't want to recreate himself? Because you said that it's, re it's recreational for a man to lay with another well, man. That's, what, that's another question I have because you said what makes you think that because they're together they don't want to recreate themselves? This is how. Your actions said you don't. Because if you do, listen, if you do want to, and I'm not, we're not bashing, I'm just no, having a conversation. We're, we're having okay, a great. I'm glad you don't feel that way because a lot of people say they feel like we be bashing people. No. And it's like, no, we're just having a conversation with the Bible. That's it. Because we want our people to understand where God is coming from. Because our people won't read what God is saying. Right. So we'll say what the other nations say. To say what the other, you're saying what white people say. When they say, you know, hey, it's recreational, all of these things, what makes you think they don't want to recreate themselves? Because they, their actions said it. We're going to read out of the Bible. That's what God said. Read. First Samuel chapter 2 verse 3. Talk no more. So exceedingly proud. God said don't talk proudly. Slide to you to the right. You in the shade with me. I just want to be able to see both of them and you can see me too. It said don't talk proudly. Meaning don't be prideful in your talk. Read. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. But the Lord is a God of knowledge. God is a God of knowledge. We don't. And by him, actions are weighed. By him, actions are weighed. Not what you say. So if you think I want to recreate, why don't you be with somebody you can recreate with? Read right. Hebrews 13 and 4. Because if I, I go ahead. I, want, I like to hear it. This is a conversation. Right. I want to hear it. So again. I want to hear it. This is a conversation. Again, we need these conversations in our community. I don't agree with you. Okay, go ahead. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You I, said I you don't it. agree, but you agree. I get what you're saying. Okay. But I mean, right. we're listening because I like to listen before I read. Right. Uh, we're understand. listening too. Hey, look, we listening time, too. It's like, it's again, you have to understand, okay, in this country for women and where they come from for so very, 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 very long, you have to deal with a man simply to survive. Here to do what? Not deal with the man doing what? You have to deal with men simply to survive. I can and barely hear what you just said, that last part. You have to deal with men simply to survive. She you have to deal with men simply to survive. Absolutely. She couldn't work, she couldn't do nothing. Okay. Nine times out of ten, she was with a man because she had to do what she had to do to survive. Doesn't mean that she didn't want to be with somebody else. Now, granted, you say your actions say that because I'm with a woman, that means that I don't want to procreate. Doesn't mean that. Well, how? Well, I have a. Well, I have a. Well, I have a. Well, I have a question. I have a question with that statement. According to God, what steps are we supposed to take before we procreate? So, if you're with a woman, but you want to procreate, but you don't want to be with that man, what must you do Most with that women man? Men. Huh? They marry men. And That's then they, they do, do what? And they procreate. And then they do what if they want to be in that other lifestyle? They, they suppress the So they then suppress they commit the adultery. What was the what was the judgment back then under Moses? If a man was sleeping with a man or a woman was sleeping with a woman or a man or a woman that was married committed adultery, what was the judgment? They were stoned. Huh? They were stoned. They were stoned to death. Now, if we understand that, there is no way possible for us to think like white people and God at the same time. You can't say I want, my bad, watch your foot. You can't say I want to follow Christ, but do what he says. You can't talk like this man and say you love that man. You can't do it. Both of them don't go together. You can't say, I want to be with a woman, but I want a baby, so I'll marry this man, and then after me and him procreate, then I'll commit adultery and go be with another woman. That's not what God says is possible. Because watch this. We're going to read it out of the Bible, because this is a conversation. Because we need these conversations. We need these conversations in the community because y'all need to see where we coming from. We understand where you're coming from. I get it. All praises. Like I said, I'm glad because some people get mad and we're just reading the Bible. And I'm glad y'all are calm enough to even tell us this stuff. But some people get, they don't even like, I don't even want to talk about it. It's like, wait a minute. We trying to understand. We trying to meet you where you at to find, so you can find out where God is at. Read that. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all. And the bad undefiled. The 
only way a bed is undefiled is marriage between a man and a woman. Hey! We know. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. So, for a whoremonger and adulterer, so a man or a woman to go outside of marriage, their bed is defiled. That's right. But I thought, isn't it, what is it, is it not, it's not big, but what is it when you get it big when you're married to more than one person? No, dude, that's polygamy. polygamy. That's polygamy. polygamy. We don't do that. Give me that. Watch this. Watch this. I'm going to show you that in the Bible. Give me that in Timothy's. Three. What is it, Titus? Three. Always get get it fixed up, Timothy, Bishop. Timothy three. Timothy three. I was right the first time. All praise, brothers. Let's get that. You rocking with me? All praise. <laughs> Verse one. Watch. We're gonna read that. So y'all heard about marriage, right? Hold on. And it said that. Uh, did you finish that verse? Yes, sir. It said, "Whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. Not maybe. He's going to judge." So now let's read this about what you said. Because you do got people that try to do the multiple marriages and stuff like that. When Adam was married to Eve, did he have two wives? According to the Bible, no. <laughs> it was just them two. That was it from the beginning. Read that. First Timothy chapter 3, verse 1. This is a true saying. If a man desired the office of a bishop, he desired a good work. So if a man wants to be a leader of his people, God said that's a great thing for him to feel that. That's a good work. Malcolm X wanted to lead his people. How many wives did Malcolm X have? How many wives did Martin Luther King have? Okay, read on. <laughs> a bishop then must be blameless. A bishop then a leader. The word bishop means leader. Must be blameless. Meaning you can't come and say nothing evil against me. I'm going to do what God says so you can't talk that I ain't, make it, I ain't taking care of my wife and my children. You're not going to say my kids are out of order. You're not going to say I'm out here committing adultery. You ain't going to say I'm in a gang killing my own people. None of that. I have to be blameless to be a leader. But we allow pastors to sleep with everybody in the darn congregation and go right back. God said that's not your leader. That's not who it is. He don't fit the criteria. And nor, and remember, it's talking about a man. He didn't say a woman. Because we got women pastors now. And God says they're not even supposed to be pastors. We, huh? Because of confusion. Watch this. We'll read it out of the Bible. I'm glad you're asking. Well, I'm just saying because a woman is an extension of a man, supposedly, right? Extension. Okay. So why She's possible? not equal to him. Y'all know that, right? That's, that's impossible. Do y'all believe a woman is equal to a man? Yes. Why? First of all, I don't believe that a woman is an extension of a man. Okay. At the end of the day, that means that you give labor and you don't. No, I don't give labor. Don't. But the only reason no, you give labor because that is your job to your people is to have babies. Right. If, you, if a woman denies that and does not want to do that, she actually denies her nation. What's your question? I don't know. Why? Because I know you said that the woman is equal to the man. That's, 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 you know who's talking? This dude. In slavery, our women knew they were not equal to us. We, had, we was 80% married in slavery. We were 80% married in slavery. Now, one out of four women would be married. Black women, that is. One out of four would get married in a life. I have a question. Yes, ma'am. So, you're saying that, okay, women, he doesn't believe that, well, I'm not going to say he, but the belief is that a woman can't be a pastor because why? Confusion. All praises to the Most High. It's a great question. I'm glad you asked. Read on. Nope, right there. Hey, that's a great question because y'all ain't nobody teaching y'all this stuff, and they're not reading it out of the Bible. So We're mean, going to mean read that, it. That's like saying a woman is not, is not, is not, can't even work or not supposed to work. No, that's not what that says. No, 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 no. I, I know no, I you're understand. adding to what you're adding to what you thought because that white man right there when you hear that a woman is not equal to a man you immediately start thinking like white people <laughs> you immediately start thinking like white people calm down we want to show you no no i'm just saying but don't i mean don't don't go off and start adding because they make it think like a woman is in slavery to a man that's not what this says read a bishop then must be blameless the husband of one wife. How many wives can I have? One wife. V vigilant, sober, of good behavior. I have to be clear-minded, of good behavior, vigilant, meaning very watchful of my people, very protective of my people. When I see some evil coming, you better stop or you're going to get put to death. Ain't that what we're reading now? Because yeah, now y'all know that homosexuality is not according to God. There is a judgment coming. Hey. I'm warning you because God told me to. He already gave the warning of the pants because God told him to. Read on. Given to the 
to hospitality. I have to take care of my people when they have need. If they come and do what God says, there's no way I can turn my back on you if you do what God says and you ask me for help. It's against God for me to turn my back as a leader on you. Read. Hey. to teach. They got to be able to teach. We don't come out here just off the couch. We studied God's word and our people for years before we able to do what we do. You don't know a pastor that can do what we do. You don't know a person outside the church that can go through the Bible like this. Now let's go to Timothy 2 and 9. Uh, 11. Is it 11? Yeah, read that. 11. 11. Yeah. Uh, 1 Corinthians 14, 33 first. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 33. For God is not the author of confusion. So God does not bring confusion. Read. But of peace, as in all the churches of the saints. We're the saints, as the Israelites. Say, God's, God brings peace to us. Read on. Let, remember, he's not the author of confusion. Read. Let your women keep silence in the churches. Did I write that or God had that written? Read it again. Well, hold on now. Let your women keep <laughs> silence <laughs> in the churches. Did I, read, did I write this? No, but God didn't write that either. Man wrote it. Whoa, 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 whoa,